I know some of you misses the old ember, the ember where you can sit in one spot for hours while burning low to mid-tier enemies. However, I think that old ember won't be interesting anymore nowadays, although I miss the old infinite energy trick on her old passive ability but still, I prefer the new ember, immolation, fire blast, inferno, and her passive ability are the features that makes the new ember fun to play, I'm not saying that fireball is a bad skill, as it has its purpose, and it will be good if you decided to add the fireball frenzy augment, however, I find her first ability out of place, and most of the time, I find the synergy of these three abilities more efficient, remember that immolation gives ember damage reduction, which depends on how much heat she accumulated, once active, you can accumulate heat and increase the gauge level by casting either fireball or inferno, this is where fireball could be useful, but somehow inferno does the job better since it got a faster casting animation, and each cast of this ability will increase the heat rate by 3% per second, compared to fireball that is slower casting and will only give you 1% increase per second, charge rate of fireball can be lowered based on the amount of heat you stored, but I still prefer to use her first ability on specific occasions rather than spamming it often, although it would be a good idea to keep your immolation gauge at max, since it can benefit your first ability and as well as give you damage reduction, I don't advise you to practice it since this ability does have energy drain and the rate of drain gets worst once you are close or at maximum level, the only way to disperse heat is to cast your fire blast ability, which will also strip all enemy armor in the process when you cast it while your immolation gauge is at the max level, so the idea is, you cast immolation, gather heat with inferno, then dissipate heat with a fire blast, in the process, you'll not only strip armor, but you can also crowd control, reduce armor again by 50% with your heat proc, will able to heal, have damage reduction, and can somehow kill enemies with your heat damage, wait what squad leader, how do you even do that with ember, with the right mod setup of course, this build is specifically tuned to work against high level enemies, you can use this on all sorty missions, or even on all steel path hard mode missions, I will give a variation for the normal star chart but let me explain first why I choose each mods, I will be completely honest with you, even with healing flame, adaptation, and the fact that you have immolation on your arsenal, ember won't be tanky enough to just sit in one spot and absorb every damage that the enemy will throw at you, this survivability setup is basically a safety net in which ember can absorb a couple of damage, the strongest feature of this build is crowd control, armor stripping, and that ability to always have enough energy to cast and spam your skills, I did add hunter adrenaline since it synergies well with her immolation and the adaptation mod, it will let you have constant energy to cast your abilities in high level missions, now, too much power strength is not necessary since you'll be able to get that 90% damage reduction cap just by adding 25 5% power strength on your build, it's only a personal preference since I want healing flame to get more health restore, and as well as give more damage to my fire skills, for normal star chart missions, I would suggest going with an exothermic build, just replace healing flame with this augment mod, then add whatever mod you want in place of hunter adrenaline, in my case, I prefer a duration mod, and this setup would be much better if somehow you can put primed continuity on this slot. The last piece of advice I can give you is during a mission, try to cast Immolation first, then cast Inferno while there are no enemies, take note that casting Inferno without a target will not consume any energy, so basically, that's free heat regeneration for you, I definitely suggest that you try Ember on the Steel Path update, I heard that our console brothers and sisters finally got the update and I hope that you are enjoying the hard mode content, for tips and guides or in general, a reason why you should play the hard mode content, then I advise you to check out a few videos on this channel, I will leave a link to a playlist at the pinned comment below, so you can easily check out all my hard mode videos, also, be sure to check out my next videos as I will be showing some fun builds and synergy for Grendel, Garuda, Wild Gunslinger Chroma, and much more fun stuff that you can do in the game, thank you so much for watching, squad leader signing off. This is the future. Human error. Evolution. This is the future. Evolution.